When you come over the hilltop, it's just spectacular. I call it paradise. Quaint, dreamy, sleepy little town. A very unique and beautiful, peaceful, relaxing place. It's my home. We take guests out to see the beautiful harbour and all the wildlife, including our very rare, highly endangered Hector dolphin. When we first started, there was just you and I. Both our children have now joined us. We're fifth generation French. Some of us are. <laughs> Some of us are fifth generation English. Yes. So her French heritage in my children's goes back to those original French whalers. I'm sixth generation local and as well as um, sixth generation on the English side. My family came here 175 years ago, so that's all pretty special. I feel really proud and passionate about being able to share the harbour with other people. So the wildlife that calls Akaroa and Banks Peninsula home is the world's smallest, the rarest oceanic dolphin. Here in Akaroa is the only place in the world, in New Zealand, where you can get up nice and personal with the dolphins. They usually move in small pods, two, three, four in a pod, so we're looking for little pods as we cruise out the harbour. We have very highly skilled and trained dolphin dogs. The dogs can actually hear the high frequency that the dolphins make, which is six times higher than what uh, the human ear can detect. So when the dolphins are near, all the dogs react slightly differently. Run up the front, they get all excited, change attitude and let us know where the dolphins are. It's a big part of the job for them because we think they're gone, but the dogs are still excited, so we know they're not too far away. The dogs have their own roster who's on each day. It's pretty amazing in a business to have a roster for dogs. <laughs> Why isn't this dog here today? It went missing during the night. We only take small groups of people, a maximum of 35 people. It's not overcrowded and you're not having to push to see the wildlife. Very luxurious, comfortable, stable, eco-friendly engines, very low noise emissions, designed specially so that it has minimal impact on the environment. We are smart operators, we have very strict rules and regulations when uh, moving in and out of pods of dolphins and whales. Well the environment is our life, our bird life, our marine life, it's very important that we look after it. Back in 1988 they set up a marine mammal sanctuary and that was particularly for the dolphins. They banned all set netting, we've gone from less than 200 dolphins in 1988 to we think better than a thousand. There's been a terrific amount of work done for the environment. We have a partnership with the Banks Peninsula Conservation Trust. Our guests, when they book online, can give a donation. Every single cent of that goes into plantation of the trees. It's helping mitigate the carbon emissions produced by our experience. The appeal of Accra is being in a small town where everyone knows your name. It's sort of a cliche, but... We employ local people, and many of the local people have been with us over 11 years. Our families have got such a long-term relationship with Akira. It's important that we give back as much as we possibly can. I think we get complacent in a beautiful area like this. This is our hometown and uh, it's lovely to see it growing the way it is. If we've been away on holiday, this is still the best place that I've ever been and this is home. I feel very proud and privileged to be able to work within my family business. I don't know, it's just my whole life. Thank <laughs> you.